a really quick video to show you what to do if we have to find the derivative of something where the power of x is on the bottom of a fraction. You've already got the skills to tackle this. Um, we're not going to use anything more than the steps provided beforehand, which are bring the power down and multiply by what's there already and subtract one from the power and put it back. Uh, but we just have to rearrange our equation slightly before we actually do those steps. It's important to note from our index laws that this can also be written as three lots of x to the power of negative two. That's something we're gonna do all the time. Uh, from here, we can apply our laws. So in this case, dy dx, we're going to bring the power down and multiply by what's there. Negative two times three is negative six x to the power of, and I subtract one from the power, remembering that negative numbers, when you subtract one, they get further away from zero. So that becomes negative three. Also, it's good form to always give your answer in the same format that the question was provided to you in. In this case, the question was provided to us as a fraction with a power on the bottom. So we're going to put our answer back to be a fraction, an answer with the fraction on the bottom. If the question was provided to you like that with a negative power, then giving your answer as a negative power is perfectly acceptable. One final thing to be careful of, um, if we're finding the derivative of something like 1 over 2x to the power of 3. Um, a really common mistake is to turn this to bring the 2x and turn that into a negative 3, but that's not the right thing to do. Um, the, that's not the right thing to do because what's getting raised to the power of 3 here is just the x. So we only actually have to bring our x up to the top, which means I'd turn this into x to the power of negative 3 over 2 leaving the two down the bottom. Obviously the derivative in this case, dy dx is going to be equal to negative three x to the power of negative four over two, which we can then rewrite as negative three over two x to the power of four.